So one thing with a lot of guys, they kind of sit in their guard, but they're not moving. They're just kind of like, they're not even breathing. They're just, let's look at how to get to the collar sleeve guard a little bit, the grips, how to get to there, some of the control points. So uh, let's say like, I just stay there, Jeff. You know, when you start training on your knees, yeah. You know, you guys shake hands. You know, white belts usually fight from here and like bulls. Let's try to knee wrestle if you're a white belt. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, most higher belts usually will kind of sit guard and then you start playing your guard from here. My first goal is to get one grip and that might be a sleeve grip. Let me get your sleeve. It might be a collar grip or something. Whatever, whatever I can get just to kind of pull the guy into me. Like I'll pull him into me and then I'll start working, okay? If you're in a tournament, you know, that might look a little differently. Usually I'll try to make one grip, like a collar grip or the sleeve grip, or I'll try to use my takedowns. You know, jujitsu people have some takedowns every now and again. So I'm getting that one sleeve grip, guys. I can go to a shallow lasso. I talk a lot about the shallow lasso because it's easy to get into, but I can also kind of, as long as I keep my legs out, I can also kind of just pull them in towards me because what, what can you do from here, Jeff? I mean, what I'm gonna try to do here is I like, try to get the knee up or something, but uh, no matter what, even if I do that, you're gonna immediately just like, get that lasso. This is a good yeah. sticky point for you, a good pit stop. Something I think white belts might do, I'm gonna have you turn aside, or your, your head towards the camera. <laughs> Especially if I had this grip, some guys might go like, oh, he can do a stack or something. But if he goes for an underhook on me, you know, right into the triangle, right? So that's why I kind of keep my legs open, but I'm also kind of keeping his arm away from me. And it's kind of hard to pass this. You know, if he tries to push this down, I'm in that lasso game, sleeve, boom, or say he's keeping that arm away from me, but I had this lasso. I can just go to his collar grip on the same side. I have his sleeve on, push his shoulder with my far leg, and then I can unlasso. Okay, so this is the collar sleeve guard, guys. Again, sleeve and collar on the same side. My other foot's on, the, my near side leg's on his hip, pushing him away. And then my other foot is on his shoulder. And right now, you see how he's really square? I wanna kinda tilt him, so I'm gonna pull with the, the sleeve and the collar as I extend my far leg, the one that's on the shoulder. So he's kinda twisted, right? That's where I want him to be. Maybe turn this side towards the camera. So the basics of the collar sleeve guard. Guys, make sure you're getting on your side. I know a lot of people kind of play too square. Yeah, he's gonna start doing that kind of stuff. So I wanna make sure I'm on the side of the, the sleeve and the collar here, pushing the shoulder away. Usually he's gonna try to re-pummel his arm under and then I just keep coming back inside. If he gets my pant grip, there, yeah. You know, I can try to get back in lower and then work myself back in. Or if he gets his elbow, kind of tucked tight in. Look, I just go over nice. there. If he's got like, you know, some of the acai grip. <laughs> acai grip, okay. That's fine. I can kick this leg out. So look how I'm keeping his hip away. Keep the shoulder and the sleeve. And I'm gonna kick this leg out of his grip. Okay. It might be harder if you, if you have baggy pants. So these are new gi pants, so <laughs> a little bit baggy. But I can kick that like a grip break and then replace it. And so one thing with a lot of guys, they kind of sit in their guard, but they're not moving. They're just kind of like, they're not even breathing. They're just. <laughs> so guys, your guard kind of flows. I, I like to think of like every body part having like a task and kind of a mind of its own and it's just kind of all working together, okay? But if you're just kind of static and you're waiting for something to happen, man, it ain't gonna work, man. Some things he might try and do, he might try and break this grip. Yeah, if, I, if I'm doing a good job of keeping this away, he, he, can, he can only do like a one arm grip break. That's good, yeah. I mean, okay. It's definitely something that, that you'd be concerned about, but it's, it's hard, mm -hmm. it's definitely hard. So a few things with that, if he goes to break, that's fine. Look, I can grip break on him. As long as I keep this leg kind of maintaining that distance, both legs maintaining the, the distance, I'm gonna break this sleeve grip by pulling my arm like you're yanking a, a, a lawnmower chain. And then look, I can re-grip. Eventually, if he, we, he keeps doing this again, do it again. You know, his grip's gonna get more tired than my grips, okay? This is also a good entry into the cross sleeve guard. If he goes to break, you know, he kind of hands that hand t towards me. Once I go two on one, that opens up this leg. 
One other thing I might do, especially uh, if I feel like he's kind of relaxed here, of course I have my umaplata attacks, kind of keeping, like posting off of that, that elbow and shooting the other leg, the foot off the hip to the, to, towards his uh, armpit. That works really well. Or if I feel like he's kind of resting with this arm, yeah. Or if I feel like he wants to pull it in, I, I can be more preemptive so he can't posture up too much. Come back. So a lot of times I'll just react uh, faster than he can. I'm gonna use my knuckles on the sleeve, on the sleeve hand, the sleeve slide side, and I'm just gonna tuck his arm into my calf area. So especially when I get in this position really fast, a lot of times if I know the guy's really strong and he's gonna pull his elbow or something, I'm not gonna wait on that to happen. I'm just gonna tuck his arm into my like calf, okay? Like a little pocket. From here, try to posture up, Jeff. That's hard. And so I, make sure you're pulling that collar down, guys. <laughs> Again, keep that uh, other foot on the shoulder, the far leg on the elbow, bicep, shoulder area. And I really want to turn myself on the side. Can you do anything, Jeff? It's pretty hard, man. And and it, about the phone, the triangle, or I'm a platter right now. Yeah, it's right there. You know, you have the triangle, boom. I had the umaplata here. One detail I showed in my video on the cross sleeve guard is whenever I like keep your, your hip kind of tight. Yeah, if he, if he just squats down, you see how my heel's out? That's fine, I can keep kind of pulling him in. I might even come over his head with my free leg and push his head down. And that, that, that's gonna kill your posture, right, King Posture? Yeah, man, no. Umaplata, <laughs> yeah. So this time he's gonna keep that hip, uh, turn, yeah, there you go. This time he's gonna kind of keep my foot kind of trapped, but bring that back in, yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna get my heel to poke through, guys. Once my heel goes through, there's no really stopping this position. So what, what I see a lot of people get stuck with, they're, they're just kind of trying to kick with their foot, like their toes forward. Instead, I wanna go like with my heel. All right. So that's kind of the basics of the collar sleeve. There's a lot more stuff, you know, far side collar sleeve. If you guys wanna learn more about that, Check out the short guy guard. I go over a lot of that in that uh, instructional. Mr. Jeff Cummings at Cummings at Cummings.Jeffrey. That's your tag. <laughs>